What's happening, everybody? That was Natasha Fisher right there. Put your flames up, family. Put your flames up. Put your base up. Damn. That was Lie to Me by Natasha Fisher. Excuse me. I believe she shot that in Thunder Bay um, with the homie Nimke. Super dope vid. Super, 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 super dope vid. Yes. Um. Man, my name is Dreesus. You're now tuned into In Dreesus' Name. It is Sunday, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great, man. Um, on some real ish, I just reached my goal of 50 miles on the bike this week for the Break the Bicycle Challenge, which is a challenge where um, you cycle for seven miles at a time for the months of July and August in support of black and indigenous mental health. If you want more information on that, um, hit my Instagram up and also my, my Facebook feed should have it too. But I was challenged by Damon Bell Holter, who was um, playing for the Boston Celtics very shortly. Excuse me. I need to get myself right, man. But yo, today is a very special day because it is brought to you by Indicity. And I'm about to share this real quick with you guys. Hold up. Let me just share this with you so you see what I'm talking about firsthand. 
there's no audio to share, so let's not press that. Okay, boom. In the city. Authentic indigenous design. We offer an array of contemporary indigenous designs made by 100% by indigenous hands. So as you can see, there's some wild earrings going on in there. Some very ill stuff, man. Look at this. Uh, they got the florals. You know, the florals are very heavy with the Anishinaabe and the Cree people. A lot of dope stuff. So basically what they did was, um, what we did was team up together and um, they put up a $100 gift card for y'all. And uh, we had a little contest over the weekend um, on my IG and my FB feeds um, to see, uh, you know, who can cash in on this. So I appreciate everybody who participated. I know my my directions and my instructions weren't very clear. I'm still learning how to do this ish, but I appreciate appreciate your patience and I appreciate your participation as well. And I appreciate everybody who shared it on IG and FB. But we will get to that draw later. Um, damn. You know, I had to say today we, I wanted to show love to our sisters, um, our sisters. In all realms, in all realms of the, of of whether it be of all realms of life, life, the whole circle of life, you know, um, doesn't have to be industry. I'm just today. I just wanted to show love, and um, I wanted to show some extra love to my brother Ernesto Bur Burbank, who who recently lost his uh, wife Shauna um, to COVID nineteen. Heartbreaking, man. Very, very heartbreaking. Um, they, I, I believe they had three kids, two or three kids. And, man, um, I, wa I want you guys to send your prayers, if you can, to Ernesto and his family and the kids. Um, I'm about to post a, a PayPal here. So this link I'm posting up right here is where you can donate to him because I just couldn't imagine losing a piece of my family like that. You know what I mean? So my heart is with you, Ernesto. Man. Um, yeah. Uh, that, that that was heartbreaking to me, man. So I, I really hope that you guys can donate anything, big or small. Donate. Just help out. We really appreciate you. Whew. Yeah. Prayers again for Shauna. That really just, whoa. Crazy. Huh. Okay. So. We are all here gathered today in the name of our sisters and, of course, in Dre's name. <laughs> but um, first up, we got Natasha Fisher. Um, she's a Anishinaabe Cree and Finnish, originally from the Thunder Bay area. Long Lack 58. Yeah, okay, okay. Long Lack 58. And... Um, but she's based out of Toronto now, and she's making moves in Toronto. Um, I happen to actually tour with her a lot over the past couple of years, but we'll get into that later. Um, super dope vocalist, man. Super strong voice. Super dope presence. Always very um, positive and very, like, uplifting, like, vibe. You know what I mean? I don't mean to, like, just hype you up too crazy here, but... Uh, without without further wait or ado, I hate saying without further ado. That sounds like so like mushroom styles, but yo, without further ado, Natasha Fisher, y'all. One time. Yo. Hey. <laughs> one second, one second. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Can I, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? I can. Oh man, we good. We good. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We good. Up? So uh, everybody. Yeah. If you can hear Natasha, say what's up, Natasha. Show her some love on the side. What's up? And I'm sorry for buttoning in on you. Um, how you feeling today? How you feeling? Where you at? Toronto? I'm feeling good. I'm in Toronto right now. Um, I'm excited to, you know, be talking to you. I haven't seen you in in months, like since all this global pandemic um, madness is happening. I'm just trying to stay positive out here. Trying to um, just keep creating and finally just be the best I can right. do without like work, I guess at this point, you know, like just trying to stay positive and live yeah. the best life. 
No, I feel you. Uh, hold on. Let me get rid of. Sorry. Let me get rid of this this uh, little weird little banner that was floating around there. Yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, so I remember the like just before the pandemic hit. Literally just before the pandemic hit, um, we were up in where were we at? Uh, Wapakika. Wapakika. Yeah. So for everybody out there listening um, and watching. I should say. Um, Natasha is a part of the Reach for Life tour, mm -hmm. which I happen to be a part of. And it's like um, this group of artists who um, basically was brought together by the Sunsetting Kid and Classic Roots. And um, what we basically do is travel the north, um, bringing the good vibes and bringing the energy, the skill sets, the, uh, the, um, the know-how, all, all types of things, the love um, to the north. Yeah. And sure. um, we were in Wapakika, posted like it was cold as F. <laughs> yeah. And, there, and there's probably, I, I forget how many people in Wapakika, but there was only a couple hundred people or yeah. something like that, right? 50 people or something like something really small, you know? And I remember being like, like, what do we do? Like, yeah. we're, what are we gonna do? Let's go for another walk, guys. Let's go for another walk, you know, at, at the nighttime and stuff like that. Was, that. was that the spot we didn't have any Wi Fi either, right? Uh, yeah, well, it was whack, it was really whack. <laughs> yeah, it was bad, it was really bad. But, but, yeah. but the thing is, is that I'm, I, I, I was thinking to myself during the pandemic, I was like, damn. I would I would love to go back to that right now, you know, just uh -huh. just just kicking it out there with the fam, you know. Um one thing I wanted to ask you about was your music and like as as we've seen on that video, you have a very very strong voice and presence. Mm -hmm. Where did that like when did you start tapping into that? So, I feel like um I'm a, I'm a pastor's daughter, so Music was always a part of my life ever since I was a kid. Um, my, you know, my parents always encouraged me to, you know, experience, like try to try to go for my goals, like, you know, achieve my dreams and, and do that. So it was nice to have that. And that's why, you know, when I go up to communities and I um, talk to these young people and these youth and these like, you know, people that look up to me, I always try to be that encouragement that I had growing up because I don't know if I'd be where I am without that. Cause my parents were such a big, strong part, like part of why I am doing what I'm doing right now. So, you know, for people out there that, um, you know, the young people that have dreams and stuff, like that's why I love what we do with the reach for life tour. Um, just trying to encourage these kids to like follow their dreams, not even just like even adults, even like, you know, every community member just mm -hmm. to um, go out there and do the best. Cause if it wasn't for my parents, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I would be at this position right now because um, I got a lot of growing up. I had a lot of opportunity to, you know, perform and, and sing in front of people, but it, it didn't, it didn't like just fall in like into my lap. I had to work hard for what I have. Like um, I did a lot of, you know, rehearsing, practicing, learning my craft. Um, like I remember there's, there were so many times where I would just lock myself in a room and, and and just sing like karaoke's of songs and, and learn all that. Um, mm. Because you can't just like walk onto a stage um, without any back, you know, without any prior, you know, like. I feel you, yeah, I mean. So like, I don't know. I just tried my hardest to be the best at my craft and, and just to, to learn and, and to keep learning and striving to, for like, to be better. Cause like at this point um, in Toronto, there's not, I, I'm not doing anything but writing and making music. Like when I'm, when we're touring on the road, I'm just performing what I have. But during this pandemic, um, I found myself a little lost for a bit. Like I was like, yeah, I feel you. I felt like purposeless, you know, like, cause there was no, um, there was no drive, like nothing to look forward to. So I found I had to just make something to look forward to every day on my own. Like, okay, today I'm gonna like play guitar for an hour. Like today I'm gonna, mm. you know, and, and that's what I'm trying to like, you know, that's what I've been trying to keep up with and trying to do because, you know. Yeah, I, I, I remember it during tour, during our off times when I'd just be like messing around, like 
you know, BSing with the boys or something in the kitchen. Um, Natasha would be in the room on her mic that she that she brought with her and her laptop. Yeah. You know, I you know, I pass by, I'd see her in the room with her headphones on, um, recording and stuff like that. And I was like, damn, how do you do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? And where did that come from? Like that, I that work ethic. Because I need it. It's not like like I need music like like I need oxygen. Like I notice that when I if I go on an off day or like an off week without like singing and I, I can feel it like in my soul, like I feel like something's missing. Mm -hmm. So I think that like as people and especially um, like, you know, the, the youth up North and stuff, like if you don't have something like that, you have to figure out what that something is, right? Like for me, it was always music. So I had a, like an easier time, but whatever it is, like playing hockey, like going for a run, like just like something small, like that, that work ethic didn't just, uh, I wasn't born with that. Like sometimes I do get lazy and sometimes I don't do it, but it's cause like it, but it hurts on the inside. If I don't do that, you know, like if I, if I'm not creating, creating music, if I'm not writing, then it's, it's like, um, like I lose my, my path and I lose my, my energy, my workflow. So I have to, I have to work on like reminding myself to do something every day. Like I mm. like something that like I've, I've built up, but it's just cause I feel, I feel like an absence or like something in the inside if I don't do that. So I feel that 100%. It's like you, it's like, um, it's, it's, it's healing. You know, it's 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 real deal healing for artists. And yeah. What 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 comes through with with that when you when you put that into your music, is the other people feel it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The fans and and the people listening, um, feel that vibe. And sometimes you know we don't even know it, but we start healing ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Whether it make you cry or laugh, sometimes you need to go through those emotions. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Real. Even if like um, yeah, like like I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I, is it because of this? <laughs> yeah, it's because of this. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> classic roots is yo. Shout out to classic roots, man. Yo, what um, up, roots. <laughs> that was a sick figure skater. I, I knew I knew roots was gonna come with the with the with the wrench with you know into the tires one time, the monkey wrench one time. <laughs> um yeah, so yo, fun fact my cousin dude so like this is why we bug each other all the time um so yeah roots is also on tour with us and he's like our source <laughs> of like so much good stuff <laughs> that's funny um oh, yo fun fact fun fact i used to figure skate so like every time when we were up north i just strapped on someone's hockey skates and went for a rip quick like <laughs> I <was> like, <laughs> but yeah no music is healing um what i was gonna say was that um i like i i write when i'm sad and i write when i'm happy so mm -hmm. it's like, like every time and i and i don't write when i have to force it you know like it's like um i've learned that that when i have to force it like that like people are gonna hear that in the song like right. it's not be from my soul like it needs to come from like any kind of emotion and, and as artists i feel like we're all emotional emotional people like mm -hmm. why, why do we do art like it's like something mm -hmm. something's like something's in there it needs to like be expressed right mm -hmm. so as an emotional person um i try not to like, i try to focus that like channel that energy and channel that you know whatever it's like if it's positive or negative like try to like just like channel that and just make something because even if it's like even if it's just like a poem like i just like you need something you know yeah do you feel like that if um you don't like tend to that energy like in in that way like in a creative way that it can build up in, in other ways like um like for me straight up if i'm not making music and i and i'm not paying attention to that i start getting depressed and i don't even realize it yeah dude yeah like big big time like and i i Honestly, I felt that like two days ago because I took a break um, from, you know, because you can't, I get it. Like you can't create every day. Like, right. I mean, right. I can't anyway. Some people yeah. do it. And, but um, for me, I can't. But then like once I, like, like I said, like once I stop getting off that train, then you sink like, and you, and you kind of forget 
and then until like something like really simple will will make me upset and i'm like whoa like i need to like do something about this in inside like yeah i always encourage like the youth and stuff to like just to like even if you're not a songwriter or you're not like just to write stuff down like how you're feeling at the time and and like you know the way that your like your mindset is because like I, I have like notes from like the moment that I get upset and like I, I'll write it down really quickly. And then I go back and I'll look at it the next day and I'm like, why was I so upset? Like that seems so silly, you know? Yeah. So like then you remember why you were you were, you were feeling that way and why, you know, it, it's it, it's not so much of a big deal now. But it's kind of like because it's, it's just a good exercise, I feel like, you know? Yeah. I mean, I just got I just recently caught my sec. Well my 1700th wind you know what i mean <laughs> uh because i've been in the game so long right so I, like i just caught my next wind and i've been like for a while there i was a, a, a verse a day i was doing sometimes yeah. more sometimes like a song a day and just recently i got back it kind of pushed me into this different direction where instead of sitting on a couch waiting for things to happen pushing myself musically all of a sudden made me um, react physically. And now I'm like, I'm, I'm on my bike every day. Yeah. Um, um, I'm feeling like a lot more well-rounded like, like that now. Yeah. And, and music brought me out of that. Once again, it saved my life again. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, for, for, for you coming up in Thunder Bay, what was it like? Um, were you aware of like everything that was going on out there when it when it comes to like addictions and all that when you were coming up? Yeah, for sure. Um, my siblings struggled with addictions. Um, my dad um, is a recovered alcoholic, so um, basically out there, like there was like so many just stereotypes of like the you know Thunder Bay is kind of the hub for the north, right? Like if everyone comes in from the flying communities up north, right, right. So there was a lot of um, yeah, there was a lot of native people, but I always felt like, um, like I, I, I had to learn my culture on my own. My dad's like, um, a Christian pastor, so he wasn't traditional. He wasn't anything like that. So I seeked out for that on my own. And, you know, my cousin was a big part in bringing me on that. I'd ask him questions like classic roots. Um, I'd ask him questions and, and, you know, um, so for me, I, yeah, I was aware of what was going on up there, but I like, I think more now, like there's, there's a lot more healing up there. Mm -hmm. Like I try to remain positive in my, in my, you know, in my hometown that, that things will change because, you know, we as, as native people have to like build each other up and we have to keep, you know, these, like, like, for example, like all these people commenting, like, what's up guys? <laughs> like, you know, this, yeah. Yeah, like, like having these communities and like having these, like just remembering our paths and remembering like thank the creator that we're here still we're still here we're resilient we're native people we didn't get wiped out you know like yeah. so like let's like like we have to start somewhere with that like just putting on for our other people and helping out people when they're when they're in a rough spot you know like i've had my own struggles with with um all of that you know with like addictions as well like i've had my own um downfalls and, and everything so just like trying to like like reach out to other people i think that that's the goal because in in thunder bay there's a lot of native people i think we just need more um community more more togetherness like we're all here we're all on this earth together especially like even now like with the um like yeah surround yourself with good someone said you need to do that like you are who you hang around with so my dad always used to say that hang out with fools become a fool like you know you have to just <laughs> right make good decisions and and you know think before you do stuff like i think that that's the biggest thing because you don't want to fall into that trap and like um addictions is a huge huge issue with our native population so you know we have to just you know do more like more ceremony more more togetherness more community without alcohol or drugs you know like when i when, when we started the reach for life tour i wasn't in the best spot mentally and like in that, like in like two, like whatever, two years that we've been doing this, like I've, I've healed more by doing that than, than anything. And I think it's the community, it's the togetherness, it's, it's getting in touch with my, my people, my, 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 
you know, learning my culture. Like we did, I did my first sweat like up uh, in uh, Four Hope. <laughs> yeah. So, like, and like, you know, I received my name and um, stuff like that. Like, I think that that that's that's healing and, and we have to Most definitely be able to listen as much as we speak. Right. Most definitely. Um, I think one one thing that you brought up for me, man, when you speak, when you're speaking, all these different things come up in my, my head. Like <laughs> one thing for sure is community that we were talking about. Yeah. And one part of the word community, well, I, I don't, there's not actually a word inside community, but what it reminds me of is communication. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. And in order for us to have a stronger communication, we have to communicate better with each other. Mm -hmm. Right. And in order to communicate better with each other, I, I, I think first we have to learn how to communicate with ourselves better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like meaning that there you got a heart, you got a mind, you got a heart, you got a mind <laughs> and, you, and you got a soul. Right. <laughs> yeah. So like if if those things aren't communicating with each other, then you're not feeling whole. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I feel like that to me was the was my biggest um change was when i started communicating to people around me that i was in an effed up position man yeah yeah you know what i mean i started and now i can tell my girl when i'm like damn i i, I feel depressed i don't know why yeah you know nothing happened to me but it's like you know in my journey it's like sometimes different things pop up and you can't help that it's trauma you know what I mean? it's right trauma. Everyone heals from trauma in different ways. And sometimes those traumatic things that happen pop up in a, like, you know, on like a, a sun third, the third Sunday of the month, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like you, yeah. you roll it sometimes, but being able to express the way that you're feeling and, and being able to open up to somebody or have somebody that will listen like is, and like, don't feel ashamed of having, um, like, don't be ashamed of having feelings. I think, cause I guess, um, especially, I feel like, especially with men, like that's like a big thing, right? Like mm. being ashamed of showing your feelings and your true self, like, but, but being able to express that is the strongest thing ever. Like I, I, I cried to my boyfriend the other day and I was just like, I don't know why I'm crying. Like just being yeah. able to like open up like that is like, just, uh, it's just amazing. No. Yeah. The work we do, we, we, we've been crying around each other for a few times, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and because a lot of beautiful, beautiful things happen when, once you tap into the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For sure. And especially like being able to like smudge and sit together, yeah. pray together and like, and that, like it all comes down to community and being united. And you know, like we're all from, we're all like me and Roots are in Toronto, you're in Calgary, um, J-Max in Edmonton, like, and Moscow cheese. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are, like, that area, but you know, like that's like we're, but when we come together, we're all just one, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. yo, um, on that on that note with addiction um you you had shared this song with with the youth um a few times when we we're on the road and i thought it was really special yeah. and i thought you know we well we thought it would be extra ill that you share that today with with the, with the people out there yeah but before you get into it i need to see some flames or i need to see some hearts i need to see something for natasha in the comment section I need to see at least 10 or 20 of those things and then we'll get going. All right. So you go ahead and get your, you got all your stuff ready. I got this right here. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. I see some players. Every time I, see, every time I see her pull out the guitar, I think of when we we're uh, with the kids, the youngest kids <laughs> and, and she, and she pulls out the SpongeBob square, uh, square pants on, but we'll save that for later. Yo, it's right here. Oh, okay. There you go. Go ahead. Get it. <laughs> All right. Yo, okay. We got it. There's a lot of people out here. There's many, many flames being thrown up. There's so, many, many flames and many, many things going to go on. Yeah. So um, I wrote this song. My sister struggled with, uh, with addictions. And at the time, I was really hurting. And, you know, like I said, um, just wrote it out of emotion, pure emotion. And, and, and like, it's just, I wrote this song, it's called Losing You. And at the time I really thought I lost somebody that I loved so much, like, and she's now recovered. 
and she's yes. going to law school and I'm super proud of her. But um, yeah, just, just, you know, out of, out of hurt, some came something beautiful. So this is that. Thought I was the messed up one till I met you. Till I met you. The kind that brings you down for fun. Well, I guess that's true. That's true. I'll catch you on the flip side of your life. You're about to backslide to your demise. And I'm not surprised. Could you? Yo, the feels, the feels, damn. Jeez. I remember the first time I heard that live, I, I like, I was like tearing up, but I didn't want to show nobody because we were working and stuff, right? I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, damn, thank you so much for that. Put up your flames, you know, show her some love for that. Go follow her on all, on all the social media platforms. Um, also, I have a release coming out. Um on august 7th i have a song called never ever give me a follow um on instagram at natasha fisher underscore if you want to keep up you know with me and my 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 crazy life and my career <laughs> yeah thank you so much for having me Dries. it was so nice to talk to you because i haven't seen you in forever but yeah yeah that that was <laughs> appreciate you that was amazing everybody's yeah. loving that um yeah. let's give let's give a quick shout out here uh Cheyenne, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Decoy, yes, 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 yes. Oh, we got Mac Six in the building. Ooh. Tears are healing, Jesus. You were damn right about it. <laughs> and now that I got sober, I've been crying like I don't know what do you want to say. <laughs> okay, yo, thank you so much for, for, for joining us. Of course, of course. It was such a blessed um conversation. I, I appreciate your light. I appreciate your offering, your art to this world. Mm -hmm. Um, you want to give one last shout out real quick before we uh before we peace out here. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for all your nice comments. Um, August 7th release, but thank you so much, Dries, for having me. Um, and I hope hopefully I'll be back on here soon with the Reach for Life group. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, fam. Peace right. out. Have a good day. Have a happy Sunday. Bless, bless. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, 
damn, that was dope. Shows get me in the feels with that. Damn. Snap. Okay. Let's let's keep this rolling. Let's keep this rolling. I know everybody. If you had people who were participating with the with with the contest for in the city, make sure you get those people in here very very quick. Um. Shoot, man. Before I get into introducing our next guest, I'm just gonna go ahead and show us some show you guys some some of that that real real deal spiel. She be talking about my verse. Before we get into it. One time, check this out. Let's go. Okay. It was death before dishonor, but it bothered me. Getting treated second class because of policies. Often we forgot we were gods, higher prophecy. Say we immigrated to the states what they want to teach. Learn we reign here through the ancients, through the ages, through the races. Now they name us through the cages. Immigration to detain us, treat us heinous, melt our statues, where's our value if we can't measure? Why try to tax us when you built it from our land's treasure? My soil gave you oil, you paid your wars with past elders. Now you confused, I paid my dues, that's my ancestors. My academics had me question learning on my own. Cause how I need permission to live in my home. Flowers in my blunts, flowers on my shirt. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. I say flowers because there's power in the regrowth. Seen the hardship was the garden of these seeds sown. Gave in hours for what's ours, see we bleed hope. Just seek gold is the reason for our genome. Just need no, we met many prior, who traveled many miles. Exchange ideas we admired, they came back inspired. So who's the savage when their actions only kept the peace? How dare they flash their lights behind, say they need ID. My hands are raised, don't have my pace, hope they let me free. They feel detentions with intentions that make us work cheap. Puerto Rico gets no FEMA cause the money feeds a crooked system taking children in the custody. This land is my land. This verse is my verse. This fist is my hand. This truth is my worth. This land is my land. This verse is my verse. This fist is my hand. This right is my birth. Jeez. <sighs> wow. This too, this jeez. You guys are gonna make me cry and stand up and oh, all in the same. Wow. Okay. Man, that was my verse. Originally from Puerto Rico and Panama. It's coming out of Orlando, Florida. Very well known for her battle rap skills and killing many, 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 many MCs. Man, one of the craziest things to me is that she's a member of the Rocksteady crew, not because of any other reason other than them being so legendary and me knowing about them since I was a little kid, you know, um, I'm, I'm a little kid from Saskatchewan prairies, but hip hop was my salvation and rock steady crew. I learned about them early on through KRS one and through those type of artists. And I heard about crazy legs. And then I seen that um, my verse was is close with crazy legs i'm like oh this is crazy anyways most recently man she's been on nick cannon's wild and out as a real deal cast member she's all up in the building man please put up some flames and make some noise and please welcome my verse you ready hey hey hey, hey what's up family what's up family how good you doing today i'm doing good man blessed and favored oh oh yes 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 so where you at where you, where you happening from today um, tapping in from Orlando, Florida right now. Okay. 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 So I just want to talk about that piece right there. Um, flowers. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the track. First of all. Yeah. Um, I love the track that you got posted on, um, Spotify, I believe. And yeah. It's on Spotify. That, that actually has a beat behind it, but I wanted to, uh, do it as an acapella so you can actually cra- catch every bar, you know, sometimes, um, not to take away from music, but something about spoken word and poetry style just it just really speaks and resonates to the soul. You, it, it, yeah, because it, it, you're not depending on that to keep the uh, the timing of of the of, of the of the beat, right? Right. You, you can give it some, some life and breath. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm saying you could do your dramatic pauses, you know what I'm saying, where people can like really absorb what you just said and, and you're not restricted by um, a flow or or a tempo that you got to keep in, you know what I mean? Yo, yeah. you know, no, no, I, I have to shout out Jacob here. The real rock steady, though. The hey. real rock steady taking out these toys. Oh, snap. Okay. Rock you steady know, out here all day. Yo, I got to ask you about that because for me, um, being a, a Nietzsche kid from the prairies, yeah, um, I never thought I would be hitting New York City. And you, you remember the time, right? When the very first, the, when we met, uh, yeah. I met you in New York City, and we got thrown into a random Uber with Mook to like go look for gear or something, right? And we we're cruising yeah, yeah, yeah. Manhattan or something like that. Yeah. And I, I remember sitting there, I'm like, okay, yo, I'm in New York. With my verse, or Natalia, you know, Natalia did that, and Mook from the Black Eyed Pete. I'm like, what is going on here? Yeah, you know I mean, I never in a million years would I thought um, a Prairie kid would get there and be able to link up with you. What was um, it like on your side? So, like, what what was the? How did it feel like to you um, going through that process? You know what I mean? I'm sure you've been to New York before that, but what did what does that dream look like to you? when we when we performed at NYU yeah um you know I think our that moment that feeling was when we were at the VMAs I think that was the moment that I was like yo yeah and Tab was like y'all th this is all for y'all y'all deserve this y'all worked this hard and y'all I think yeah like the New York you know I mean I've been I performed in New York many times so that was that wasn't really nothing but like I mean yeah. that was Nothing. <laughs> yeah. you, like that's fucking. No, I, crazy. I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. And I get it because you're you're on that side of the, of of the of the of the uh, continent. You know right. what I mean. So, I, what I was saying was like, um, let me reword this really quick. Let's start back before we get back to that day of the MTV. Okay. Because right? I, I, I was like, that was the moment that I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I know that was some ill 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 ill. ill, ill. Right. But let me just talk about you getting into hip hop, because I read somewhere that or heard I, 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 um, that you weren't able to listen to hip hop and rap in your household coming up early on. Yeah, man. My mom, my mom was super religious. And if I did. So let me tell you, I first started off as an R&B head, you know, because my mom, she thought R&B songs, you know, were were more positive and more, you know what I mean? So like. <laughs> And if and if it was, um, you know what I mean. Like if it was hip hop, it would have to be like a Christian record. You know what I mean. Yeah. So like growing up, my mom she wouldn't let me listen to the radio. Like I couldn't listen to secular music. That's what it was. And so I really found hip hop, you know, through the dance, through breaking. And then eventually, you know, I was able to listen to the radio. Like I would, like if an R and B song was on the radio, I'd be like, look, mom, they're talking about love. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I love too. So look, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I was able to, you know, find my journey through listening through the radio, and then I came through the mixtape era. You know what I'm saying? So the mixtape era of like P. Cutter, DJ Clue. You know what mm. I mean? So like, at my schools, people were people had CDs, and so I remember my first uh, CD that I bought was a CD called. Uh, Street Wars by DJ P. Cutter, okay. and it was straight up just beef records, like just records. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this was the era of like when when Jay and and Nas were beefing, and Nas was beefing with Cormega and Prodigy, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Like this was this that was like you know my introduction, and then eventually like I had to do a timeline in school. There was a project about doing a timeline. So I did a timeline of hip hop. And so I really studied the culture. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? It wasn't just like, just my song, like, oh, I like this song. This is cool. It was like, really, I studied the culture. I studied, you know, from Cool Herc, from, you know what I mean? From first female MCs like uh, Shah Rock, who was part of the Funky Four Plus One. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if we want to get deep, deep, you know, say, we say yeah. the, the Pebbly Pool was one of the first ones who was in Cool Herc's camp. You know yeah, what I mean? Hold, so wait, this, wait, hold on, back up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You got to, you got to school them on that. You got to school them on that. Who? This, this is the like one of the first 
Let them know. Female MCs. One of the first female MCs, solo female MCs. Okay. Would, would be Pebbly Pool. And that was with DJ Cool Herc. She was in that circle. And mm. then we'll say the first nationally, nationally known female MC was part of a crew called Funky Four Plus One. And they're the ones that actually, which is ironic because um, the Black Eyed Peas did a song called That's the Joint. That's the Jam. Mm. Well, that originally came from a crew called Funky Four, Four Plus One, which had a female MC called Sha Rock. And they were the first to actually do perform a hip hop song on a national level. And so she was the first. So yeah, so I did my, my history on hip hop you know what I mean? Once I, I was able to, you know, grow up. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm me, saying? The love for was me, for me, out here, all I had was a library. Straight up. Right. And, like, it wasn't very cool, like, you know, cool to go to the library. So I'd have to literally sneak off from the boys and from the from the crew, right? And I would go sit in the library, and you can take out CDs and tapes. You know, I'm, I'm old school like that. There was, there was still cassette tapes at that time. Yeah. And, and I would read all the books on hip hop history. I'd sit there for like oh. hours in the library, just sitting there. And sometimes I would even open up the yellow pages from New York City or Los Angeles that they would have in the library. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, that's, I got to go to that shop. That's, that's like, why. that's dope. You know what I mean? So, like, I know that, I know that, that research that, that, um, that's what that's what really makes an MC an MC. I I, I believe, you know what I mean. One who really um, did the research and, and put forth that effort in that way. Right, right. You know Absolutely. what I mean. But um, but yeah. yeah Sorry, go ahead. That's how I got in 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 the culture. You know what I mean. Yeah, you could tell. You, you could tell it just it just emanates from you. You know, you hip hop all the way through and through. Um, how did the 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 uh, rock steady crew? How did that happen? Um, man, yo, let me tell you, it's about being in the right place at the right time and just persistence. Um, so I had, you know, I had at the time was, um, I got booked to open up for a really big event called the Fresh Fest and it was happening at BB Kings and they needed an opener. They needed just an opening act. And at that time I was doing strictly like poetry, spoken word. I didn't, I had literally just recorded a demo the day before I got the gig because I was mm. like, I have to have something to be able to pass out to people. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. So then um, I did that performance, right? I did a, I did a piece about hip hop and um you know, comparing hip hop to a female, kind of like what Common did, but I did my version of it, you know what I mean? So then um, I had called the promoter that, like I had performed, that was on like a Saturday. I had called the promoter on Thursday that week. And I was like, yo, do you need me to host anything, anything you need me to do? And he was like, actually, I got Crazy Legs coming in town and he's going to be DJing. We would love for you to just host and, you know what I'm saying, get the B-Boys hype. And I'm, I'm like, I'm with it. Cool, let's do it. So, um, you know, I'm rocking a party. The shit is like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm cursing. I'm like talking, rocking a party, right? right? And like, <laughs> you know, just hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, nah. So I'm, I'm rocking a party, right? And then um, I didn't even rap. You know what I mean? I just had everybody hype. You know, what I'm saying do what an MC do. And then um, towards the end of the night, I was like, yo, let me just rap. Give me like two minutes to rap something. So then I just did like one of my favorite verses, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, yo, Legs was like, who are you? <laughs> like, what? What is this? And then um, from there, you know, we exchanged information and then he hits me up. He's like, yo, do you got a crew? Do you got somebody that, you know what I'm saying? Do you got a squad or whatever? And I'm like, you know, I'm in, I'm in Grind Time, which is like a battle rap uh, channel. And I was kind of signed to them as like a uh, model slash artist and using their platform to push my music and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he was like, oh, okay, so you don't really got a, like a squad. And then I'm like, nah, you know what I'm saying? It's me, you know, I rock with me. And then he's like, okay, dope. He's like, yo, you know, uh, would you ever consider being in rock steady? Now I don't think it was just like, oh, we're going to put you in rock steady and that's it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, to be with the crew, you got to like build with everybody. Like I'm talking about as family, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I had to, sit with Mr. Wiggles and like Q Unique and like other like um, B girls that are in it, B girl, uh, B girl Bonita, you know what I mean? Um, 
chaotic blaze like these are the djs you know because you gotta understand rocksteady crew isn't just b-boys and b-girls it's mcs such as myself djs and graffiti writers like dj G J S one you know what i mean um why not why not is he's an ill like writer he's crazy mm. um so yeah, so you know, he gets on, he's like, yo, you know, would you like, would you ever consider it? I'm like, absolutely. Like, I would be honored. <laughs> absolutely. And then he was like, all right, well, I gotta talk with the crew. And then um from there, you know, it was in the air. So then, you know, I was building with everybody, and it was probably three years later is when I actually when I actually was inducted. And that was after my like second battle. After my second rap battle, they were like, oh. I had hit up legs. I was like, yo, what's up? Am I going to be in the crew or not? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yo, I was waiting for you to come and like, let me know. You know, mm -hmm. I had already gone to like three, uh, not three. Yeah. Like three, um, three anniversary events. And so it was like, I build with people and I had, had built with members that are alumni that had already, you know, that weren't in the crew, but you know, they're always rock steady, but they're just not active members. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, snap. yo, congrats on that, first of all. Thank you. That's, it was that's legendary. First female MC to be inducted into Rock City. Did you guys hear that? Did yeah. you hear that? Yo, did you hear that right there? Boo. The first Boo. It, female MC to be Talk inducted into the Rock Steady crew. Come on. A lot of people will argue and they'll be like, well, there was Baby Love, the girl that did that song. Hey, you, the Rock Steady crew. But she actually was not part of Rock Steady. She was just an MC uh, that had made a record and the record label, because at that time, like in the 80s, there was a record label and they, Rock Steady was actually signed with them and they would go on tour and stuff. The label had put her to make a song with them. So mm. she wasn't really Rock Steady, but she did make a record called Rock Steady. Okay. Well, snap. Well, thank you for clarifying that. Man, yeah. that, 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 that's huge. Man, I, I, okay. I know you already touched on this with the MTV day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know, like, so New York was the, for, for me, that was the first one. And then, like, the, the gigantic one was the MTV day. So for everybody out there who doesn't know, um, um, my verse is on the song called Stand Up Standing Rock. She's at the end and has the fire verse at the end over there. Ooh, they love and and uh, hold up. I'm going to put up some of these comments while I'm talking. Um, and she and we basically straight up and down. Getting to the core of it. We won an MTV video music award for the best fight against the system video or song called Stand Up, Stand Rock. Yeah. So and she was part of the crew. And I remember that morning, like me and my girl came in from Canada uh, to LA. So we all linked up that. You remember that morning when we linked up at the Black IP studio? Yeah. So, like, that whole process to me was legendary. I still got video from it. And I always tell kids about that trip um, from the studio to the, uh, the forum in Inglewood. Yeah. Right. So that for me, that trip was extra, like extra, extra ill because I remember, I remember I, I got in like shotgun tab, had me a shotgun. I'm like, yo, can I ride shotgun? So I look back at everybody and everybody's in the sprinter van, right? And all I seen was like indigenous, native, you know what I mean? I just seen that power and that, 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 that imagery and that, that the whole vibe and energy yeah. was just all in there. And I was like, whoa. Our ancestors were so happy. This was wild. How did you feel that day? Um, it felt unreal. It felt like, is this really like it was so glamorous and beautiful? And like I just remember seeing all these famous. I remember Cardi B walking by us. Remember that? Yeah. Remember uh when Bodak Yellow like wasn't even really out yet, it was just right. starting to crack, right? Just yeah, yeah, to yeah. That was like I remember, I remember that moment. I remember right before we walked on that stage, you know, where they take all the pictures and then like young M.A. was next to us. And like, mm -hmm. I remember Ken Kendrick, like, Come Kendrick. On. and us, oh, it's crazy. You know, you want to know what's wild is that I know Kendrick's like peoples. Okay. 
I know Kendrick, I know Kendrick's peoples. So like when they saw me, they was like, yo! Oh, what? Like they were so happy. Yo, they was just so happy. That's like, dope. You had a fan moment. I had a fan. I mean, you had a fan moment. I had a fan fan moment when I seen Kendrick and his wife was standing right there. I was like, yo, K Dot, K Dot. Yeah. And then his wife looked at me and then he looked at me and gave me one of these. And I was like, oh, snap. My little <laughs> rap heart was made. And yeah. I remember Tab was kind of like, yo, chill, bro. Chill. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, how can I, yo, how can I chill, man? How can I chill well, right now? I, I saw Remy. I took a picture with Remy and Papoose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I took a picture with Remy and Papoose. And I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> yeah. Remy, the reason why like, I battle, you know what I mean? So, like, Dawg, nah, seeing yeah. Remy was just like, uh, I already, like, just that's just what it was. And then sitting down and then, like, Seeing everything, seeing Kendrick perform live with all the fire and all of that. It was ridiculous, man. Amazing. It was it was an awesome moment. It was an awesome moment for the people too. Um yeah. how how like how do you feel like you know doing your thing out there? Like you're 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 a public figure, you're you're out there all the time on uh, on this show called Wild and Out, this little small show called Wild and oh, Out. Baby, I don't know baby. if you guys ever heard about it, but you know, um how Okay, wait. Before I get into all that, how'd you get onto Wild and Out? Man, I got an email. Okay. I just got an email, and they were like, uh, Wild and Out had me, well, MTV had me in their circuit, um, because they were going to do a show called The Rap Report, where we would rap the news. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess they didn't follow through with it, whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, they had me in their circuit, and mm -hmm. so, you know, they had, they said, yo, we want you to audition. And so I went to New York, I auditioned, and then they were like, yo, we want you to battle. We really want you to battle Nick Cannon. So Sick. we need to battle him next week. And I'm like, all right, fine, I'll battle him next week. So then that's where I ended up battling him and it was it was history, yeah. It was history. You, you say that it's like nothing. Like I ended up battling him and I'm like, yo, what was behind that? Like you had to have been were you watching like Nick Cannon videos or anything like that? Or you just yeah. go from the top and just started writing. Nah, man, it was just, you know, um, what were the bars that were going to, that were going to really shine and that were going to, you know, you, you only got 30 seconds, mm. 30 seconds. And it was live. There was no like editing, editing laughs in or editing reactions or cutting away. Like, like it was live on live TV, you know, in the, in the clip that's on YouTube, they still cut out like things that I said, you know what I mean? Where. I told um, where I had told uh, DC, and I was like, "You're the first person to tattoo a unibrow." Like, <laughs> I said that to him. I'm so mad they cut that out. That was such a good bar. Yo, <laughs> damn, um, yo, that's that's ill, man. That's yeah. Nick Cannon. Yeah. So you you out there with Nick Cannon all the time, man? That's wild. That's yeah, wild. it was an email, and so that's just where it happened. But now, don't get it twisted, like they. They require for you to like take some improv classes, you know what I mean? Um, especially for the MCs because of the fact that like it's not just, you know, you gotta be able to be quick on your feet, you know what I mean? You gotta be able to like whatever they throw at you, you take that and flip it, make it your own, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. And that only comes with like with battle rap and and just a battling MFs, you know what I mean? And like that's something that I I am. I'm not even trying to test you, my verse. I ain't, I ain't don't yeah. know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. But yo, um, your your presence in 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 this in this whole scene and and on the web and on Wild and Out is very very refreshing, um, very powerful. I know it's very powerful for a lot of the sisters out there. Um, man, it was just a blessing having you today. Um, is there anything that you got going on right now and any shout outs you want to make out to some people before we, uh, before I put your, play some, some of your music. Ah, uh, um, my verse was here.com. Make sure you guys go over there, subscribe. I'm going to be giving y'all exclusive content. Um, if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, my verse. I got these really funny segments that I call the department stores where you're going to see me going to like random places and making bars out of anything, you know what I'm saying? We're mm -hmm. shopping with the plant bars. 
That's what you're right. gonna get. And so uh, my verse was here.com. Make sure you guys go get some merchandise if you feel like it. You know what I'm saying? We got okay. some budgets, all that. Look, she's, got, she's, she's, she's dipped, man. She's drippy already with her own gear. Like, go get it. Like, there's no, there's no reason for you not to be going and clicking on this link that I just posted up. Is that the right link I posted? Hold up one second. Is that it right? Is that right? Can you see that? Can you see that little my, ver oh, my verse was here.com. Oh, there I go. I'm messing no, it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. Was here. Uh, dot com. Yeah, that Sorry, one is actually like a, a career building. Oh, it's not. Well, like, we've been if anybody wants years. to build their career, you know, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> we've been beating for years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, so uh, I, I interrupted you there. You got anything else you want to let them know? Um, you, yeah, just follow me. You know, my verse on everything, TikTok, all that. You know what I'm saying? We having a good time. Just yes. all yes. the time. It's not yes. just a love and peace and love out here. Yo, you got shout outs from my verse? You, uh, let's, let's shout them out really, really quick here. Hold up, hold up. Let me see. Let me see. Amber Star Baker says, Aboriginal queen, indigenous queen. Yes, yes. <laughs> shout out. Amber Star, Jeremy Jordan said amazing stories. Blessings, blessings, bro. I'm just going to shout out these people real quick for you. Shout out Tyler Rushnell. Thank you for tapping in, guys. I appreciate y'all. Melissa. Man, this, this, the comments are going to keep flowing. Um, I'm going to, I got this little contest that we, I'm going to run right after this um, for everybody tuned in. But right here, we got a legend in our midst. Show some love. Put up your flames. Go follow her right now on all across all the platforms. Stream the music. Tune into Wild and Out. Is that that's still going on, right? Yes, yes, definitely tune into Wild and Out. And uh, make sure you follow your girl, man. We got a lot more going. I got some department store battles, so I'm gonna get back from your favorite celebrities. So let's get it. Let's get it. Definitely uh, follow me. Yes. Thank you so much, my verse. I appreciate love. you, sis. I yeah, hope to link up soon once all this madness is over with. You know what I mean? Well, we'll connect the dots. You don't have you to get that record in. I still wrote to that record and I just it, I the, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get one in. We'll get one we in. We'll get one in for I sure. Appreciate you. Mugwitch. Thank Love, you for brother. stopping by. Have a good afternoon. You too. Peace. Peace. Yeah, yeah. So that was my verse. Put up some flames, y'all. Say something. Tell it what's good. Okay, so, yeah, for everybody who participated in the contest for a $100 gift card with In The City, now is the time for you to post up. If you had friends who um, shared it and, and, and followed instructions on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you tell them to come in right now because I'm going to play a song um, by my verse while I get this little draw ready I and mean, i'm doing it old school style today i'm cutting up some name well actually uh, my lady cut up some names we gathered everybody's names thank you big love to kyla for doing that um let me pull up i'm gonna pull up the song version of flowers by my verse because i love it it's so ill where are we at okay Okay, so to get in on the draw, you had to, yeah, it was only for the Facebook and IG. I, I, I apologize for that. Okay, here we go with flowers. Oh, one second. Here we go. One time, one time, one time, one time. So while this plays, yeah, it's too late to get into the contest right now, bro. There's going to be so many more contests. I know some of you guys have been sleeping on my contest, but right now we've given today we'll be giving out six hundred dollars in in total on the show. So like, do not sleep on the contest next time because you're missing out on free shit, really good shit too, man. You're missing out on all that good stuff, bro. Come on, man. What's wrong with you, bro? No, I'm just playing. Okay, this is it. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. How do I do this? How do I do this? One time. Here we go. Okay, uh, I'm getting the contest ready. Verse. Got me thinking. <laughs> the 
This is my home. Flowers in my blunts, flowers on my shirt. Ah uh ha. -huh. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Ah uh ha. -huh. Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Ah uh ha. -huh. Flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. Ah uh ha. -huh. Flowers in my blunts, flowers on my shirt. Ah uh ha. -huh. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Ah uh ha. -huh. Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Ah uh ha. -huh. Flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. Ah uh ha. -huh. It was death before dishonor, but it bothered me getting treated second class cause of policy often we forgot we were god's higher prophecy say we immigrated to the states what they want to teach learn we reign here through the ancients stood through ages through the races now they name us through the cages immigration to detain us treat us heinous melt our statues where's our value if we can't measure why try the taxes when you built it from my land's treasure my soil gave you all your paid your words with past elders now you Confused, I pay my dues, that's my ancestors My academics had me question learning on my own Cause how I need permission to live in my Who home is you? Flowers in my blunt, flowers on my shirt uh -huh. Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Uh -huh. Flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. Uh -huh. Flowers in my blood, flowers on my shirt. Uh -huh. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Uh -huh. Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Uh -huh. Flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. Uh -huh. I say flowers cause there's power in the regrowth. See the hardship was the garden of these seeds sown. Gave in hours for what's ours, see we bleed hope. Teach gold is the reason for our genes. No, just need no, we met many prior Who traveled many miles Exchange ideas we admired Then came back inspired So who's the savage when their actions only kept the peace How dare they flash their lights behind Say they need ID My hands are raised, don't have my papes Hope they let me free They fill detentions with intentions To make us work cheap Puerto Rico gets no FEMA Cause the money feeds A crooked system taking children in the custody this land is my land, this verse is my verse, this fist is my hand, this truth is my worth. This land is my land, this verse is my verse, this fist is my hand, this bride is my verse. Flowers in my blunt, flowers on my shirt. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Uh, flowers to my love, flowers on the dirt. Yeah. Flowers in my blunt, flowers on my shirt. Wrote they took it all, but who did the work? Relish in my land, but who owned it first? Oh. Yes. I tried to be a lot more uh, gradual than that with the volume, but that was it's it is how it goes. That is Flowers by My Verse. That was playing off of her Spotify. So if you haven't, go and follow her like she said to do. And yo, for all my people out there who entered the contest, I appreciate you. There's going to be very many, many, many more contests. And this is brought to you by In The City, who is based out of YYC. And we are on Blackfoot territory, Treaty 7 territory. And we are actually coming live from the Nonstop Music Maker Studio. Um, thankful to uh, Nietzsche One for that love. So are you ready? Let me see the drum rolls. I need to see some drums. Let me see all them drums. And then I'm going to uh, draw the winner. I was originally going to say they have to be here. But um, I'm going to, like, the people who put in the effort to share and tag people, that's who I'm going to put in here, and that's who's going to win. Y'all ready? Let me see the drums up. Let me see the drums up. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me whip it. Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. Hey. Look at the flick of the... Yeah, I'm nerding out. It's okay. You can nerd out once in a while. You know, it's, it's allowed. Okay, I'm not going to look. Why am I looking in there? Yeah, I'm going to look over there. You ready? You hear that? That's what whipping it up sounds like. And stop. Dun, dun, dun. Shout out all 
of our beautiful indigenous sisters out there, all of our sisters worldwide, all the ones making moves, all the ones standing up to patriarchy, all the ones standing up to the system, all the ones who are finding themselves. And I'm not going to get too deep into all that because I appreciate you all. And it's been a long journey for me to really tap into that spirit where I unconditionally appreciate the female spirit and energy. I appreciate you. And I will definitely be putting on a lot more female artists onto the program. So if you have any female artists who you want to see get down or you want to see talk or like conversate with any of that, put them in the description. I mean, the comments. But right here is the winner of the Indus City $100 gift card draw. Let me just put up the Indus City site one more time. So you know what we're dealing with? Okay, here we go. All right. All this cool stuff right here, right? All types of cool, ill, 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 ill stuff. And the winner of that draw is... This one happens to be from the Facebook side. I don't know if you're a miss or missus, but you're wonderful to me, Mrs. Rhea Jim. You have won a $100 gift card from In The City. Um, make sure and hit, hit up my DMs, my private messages on the on the Dreesus Music page with your address or your email address, I should say. And... Don't send me your address. Send me your email address, and we'll get you that gift card. Congratulations. Let's 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 make some noise for Miss Rhea Jim over here. Yeah. I believe you're from the 505, though. I think I know that much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate Natasha Fisher for joining us today. I appreciate my verse today. Make sure you tune in every week, Sundays, 3 p.m., Mountain Standard Time. If not, you can. Oh, us. Just playing. Not really, though. Tonight, I'm filming a video, and we're getting back on track with the Where Would I Be series. So look out for that later this week. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you, In The City, for being an awesome support, an awesome sponsor for this show. Thank you to all the fans tapping in. Please share this post with all your networks. Please share the music that you've heard today. Go ahead and follow me if you don't on Instagram at Dreesus. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Peace. I love you guys. In Dreesus' name.